This week in the field, Mesquite Dunes, Death Valley, and why a level of fitness is important for landscape photographers. Hey everybody, I'm Scott Davenport and welcome to In the Field. Thanks for joining me today. Before I go over to Mesquite Dunes, I have a few spaces in my San Diego Coastlines workshop coming up in September of 2018. So if you'd like to come out to San Diego, join me, some fellow photographers for some few days of fun at the beach, please check it out. I've got the link in the show notes below. So Mesquite Dunes, um, I was reminded of this shoot because I've been sick for the last few weeks and when that happens, you tend to fall out of certain rhythms and I'd fallen out of uh, some type of regular exercise rhythm. Uh, and that's important for landscape photographers because uh, landscape photography means often you're hiking, you're walking, you're carrying gear, and those things take a toll on your body. And so having some level of physical fitness is important. Now, you know, I'm not a hallmark of fitness by any stretch of the means, but it is important to have, you know, some level of stamina to be able to get out to the places you want to reach to get the photos you're after. And Mesquite Dunes really reminded me of that. So uh, this, uh, this footage I'll share with you is, is from a few months ago. Back in December, I was doing my final scouting for a workshop out there. And I'd scouted the dunes the, the day before. Wanted to get out there for sunrise when the light hits the, the dunes and the sand. And it's, it's a really wonderful experience with or without a camera. Uh, but uh, it was not easy to climb up and down those dunes. It really, uh, really took a toll on uh, on my legs. But let me show you some of the footage here, and then uh, I'll come back and talk a little bit more about uh, the whole experience. Ah, oh, my heart is beating like a jackrabbit. <laughs> Which are climbing seems like forever out of the mesquite dunes, trying to get to a point where the dunes were smooth. It wasn't a a very windy night, so most of the dunes are still trodden. But I'm focusing primarily on that area right there. So I'm perched up on a pretty tall dune right now. I'm going to reach in with a longer lens and uh, as the sun comes up, make that my photo. Uh, so I bit the bullet, walked another 10 to 15 minutes in. And uh, gosh, you know, as you get closer, you realize, you know, those dunes aren't as clean as you thought. There are plenty of footprints and trails up and down them and so forth. But this is a pretty interesting vantage point. And so I got some different sweeps and curves. And the sun is finally starting to touch the very tips of the mountains back there. You know, nice pink glow. So this should shape up to be uh, uh, a beautiful, if not exerting, morning. So this is the rough side of photography. And um, I kind of say that a little bit tongue in cheek and a little bit in truth. It's beautiful here, of course, and so it's, it can't be all that rough to get out here and enjoy this. I mean, you can see the sun is just starting to touch the hills behind me. Uh, but the other side that you don't see is, uh, you don't feel, <laughs> is uh, the pain in my legs. Um, it's like doing a Stairmaster uh, on steroids up and down these dunes here. And I have got a long walk back at this point. So I'm going to stay here and enjoy things and uh, rest a little bit before uh, before. Yeah, going uh, going all the way back up and down these things one more time. It feels good to sit down. That was a <laughs> that's a long hike back, but it was fun. Uh, and um, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't trade the experience. My legs will feel good in about ten minutes, and in the meantime, guilty pleasure. Ah, cold, caffeinated treat. So right after that last clip, the the batteries in my video gear died. It just the, the cold weather just sucked the life right out of them. Uh, but I did at least capture a, a couple of photos of how I was set up. I was primarily using a longer lens to to reach out and find as much of the dunes as I could that didn't have tons of footprints. But that, that just wasn't going to be possible that day. And I ended up with a few that uh, I'm, I'm happy with. You know, this again, this was. Um, you know, this, yes, it was scouting, but you know, I'm always trying to get the best photo that I can when I go out there. I even broke out the IR camera to grab a few infrared shots because you know, I was curious. Well, what is this going to look like? And those were interesting as well. So, um, you know, all said and done, yeah, my legs were pretty much, you know, you know, burning for <laughs> maybe a half an hour after that excursion. But keeping my fitness level reasonably up to date and you know, my legs reasonably strong, I was something I was able to do and get out there and get some nice photos. 
So in addition to this being a nice little trip down memory lane for me, it was a good reminder to me to get back on the, the proverbial horse, get back into some type of exercise regimen, and keep my fitness level reasonably good so I can get out there and get the types of photos that I want. And I'm curious to hear if uh, what you folks do to kind of stay in relative shape. Uh, I do a lot of walking, and I've got an elliptical machine in the house on the occasions that uh, I, I can't get out either during daylight hours or we occasionally get bad weather in San Diego. But you know, what kind of things do you do to you know, keep yourself uh, fit so you can carry the gear, get out to locations, and, and do the types of shoots that you like to do? So leave those uh, comments below, and uh, any other questions you got about photography, feel free to hit me up. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport, and happy shooting. <laughs>